And then once that happens, then this one gets in and she's like a 200 pound piece of impossible. So, <laughs> and I think one of them got me with a hoof when I was screaming and yelling and going like, get out of here. <laughs> yourself you little escape artist. Having some problems juggling our goats lately. The two little ones are big enough now that they can jump up on just about everything out here. Right now, Wendy is milking Valkyrie, and these two little goats don't like being in their stall all by themselves. They like jumping up on top of that feeder, particularly Stormtrooper here. And he's small enough, as you can see, to easily walk right across this ledge. So our locked gate over here is pretty much pointless at this point. He can just walk right over here onto this ledge jump down into this stall and then walk out or just walk right across and hop straight out into the goat pen itself. It's pretty cute, but it is a problem because we do need to be able to contain these goats. Obviously when they get bigger, they won't be able to walk on this ledge very well. But it's not only a problem for us right now, it'll be a problem for us in the future when we have other baby goats to, to contain and take care of. So I'm gonna to have to put in a barrier across these two stalls. We've got hog panel 
already out here, so I'll probably use that. It's okay. When Stormtrooper gets out and little Sienna is left all by herself, she's a little anxious and nervous because goats really don't like to be alone. They're herd animals. And they're just absolutely not comfortable when they don't have another goat around them. Free! Free at last. And now, it's time for a baby bunny break. These little guys are just at the super, super cute stage. They just recently opened their eyes. Little chubby, happy little bunnies. Cuteness itself, aren't ya? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Too cute. Too cute. Too cute to believe. Yes. Too cute to believe. So the design for this barrier is pretty simple. It's just a two by four sandwich with the hog panel in between. I didn't film any of me cutting the 2x4s because who needs to see that, right? I measured first and it's a little tricky because the space that I'm putting this in isn't perfectly square. So I've compensated a little bit for it. Hopefully it will slip right in. I may need to do a little fine tuning to make it all work. Fingers crossed it works on the first time. One thing that I do like using for uh, projects like this is the Craig Jig, K-R-E-G. It makes framing in structures a lot easier. It'll save me some time and some headache. You'll see better exactly how it works when we go to actually mount it in place. But it's basically drilling a pilot hole for the screws to go in at an angle so it's toenailed in with screws perfectly and accurately. All right, all I need to do here is screw these things together, flip it over, put in a few more screws, and then mount it.
This thing is pretty heavy, so I'm going to have to have Wendy's help getting it into place. Hold. Close it all the way. Pull it tight. All right. Let me get on the back. Yours can go in first, it's fine. Are you sure? Sure. Let me get down there and see if I can oh, try not to try not to let it slide slide out the other side. to come out on your side so that it goes in flat and steady. All the way flush. Oh, okay, are we in? Close. All right, let me grab the clamp. Just keep it from falling over. I need a hammer to, to square it up a little bit, but it's, it's gonna work. Yay! So this is where the Craig jig really shows itself. 
rather than having to kind of try to guesstimate the angle to put these things in, because I've pre-drilled the pilot hole, I just know it goes straight in and it'll hit the right spot. And the goat jail is now secure. Are you in jail? Goat jail. Bad goat jail. Bad goat jail. Bad goat jail. Where the goats go when they're in bad goat jail? <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? Well, you're going to talk about what happened to your lip and why we put the divider in and how that new divider is working for you. You really want me to tell them why I have a problem with my lip? <laughs> I think they'll want to know. <laughs> well, Brian was in here with his camera and he gets distracted by the camera. And this is the second time this has happened where he's supposed to leave this gate shut at all times. This gate if it's open, Indigo and Rogue get in there and mess everything up and eat all Valkyrie and the baby's hay and tear up everything and make a big mess. And once they've done it once, then for a week, <laughs> two weeks sometimes, every time I'm getting in there, if they don't already have hay, they are right on my butt, and Indigo will bite my butt and pull at me and ram into me, and Rogue will get right in between me and the gate and try and nudge her way in there. And once that fat goat gets halfway through, I can't get her out without letting her go in and pulling her back out. So, and then once that happens, then this one gets in, and she's like a 200-pound piece of impossible. So, <laughs> anyhow, Brian was in here with his camera, left the gate open again, and the goats got in there, and I was really mad because the goats were in there, and so I kind of rained down holy heck on them and chased them out, and I think one of them got me with a hoof when I was screaming and yelling and going like, get out of here! <laughs> because now I have a big bruise on my face and it hurts. So, thank you, Brian and the goats. <laughs> and, yeah, but at least now, because Brian put the divider in, right away after the goats kicked me, <laughs> 
<laughs> at least now I can keep the tiny goats pinned up in here and so it does make my routine a lot easier and what had been happening is because the little monster stormtrooper gets up on the hay rack and feels free to climb around into wherever he feels like being <laughs> I couldn't leave the little goats in there at night I had to take them out and put Valkyrie in there, which nobody was happy about. Valkyrie didn't like being in there by herself. The little goats really actually didn't like being out here because they would hide under the the goat bench and sleep under there at night. And so they were out here with the big goats and didn't like it very much. And so everybody was unhappy, including the big goats, because they didn't like having these little goats following them around all morning until I got out here to take care of things. And so... In the mornings, all the goats would be yelling and attacking me and chasing me around and it felt like there was no routine and when I would finally get to get where I, because the last thing I do is bring the hay in after I've milked Valkyrie and got her back into the, the area. So the last thing I do is bringing the hay in and by that time, they're all a wound up mess and so I get head butted by goats I get <laughs> goats trampling and jumping all around me because they're all excited and just a mess and so yeah that's really funny thanks Indigo <laughs> and so the thing is, is that now I can keep the little goats in here until I'm done milking Valkyrie and so it's just the two two big girls in here by themselves while I milk Valkyrie and the baby goats cry a little bit in the morning but it's not like a big crazy mess like it was where you know because even even with them being out stormtrooper and Sienna were getting out and running around outside the fence <laughs> And trying to get in with with Valkyrie one day stormtrooper did get in with Valkyrie and ate half of her food and tried to knock the milking stuff over and was trying to get milk and it was, he's just a monster <laughs> and so it just made it a really really bad morning for me when when all this crazy was happening and so now with the panel up the goats Stay where they're supposed to be and things go a lot more smoothly as long as I pay attention to where Indigo and Rogue are so as long as I know where they are <laughs> then I can open and shut this door pretty easily and it's not so bad um, I, I had trouble with them once today where I had to kind of yell at them and chase them away and then get myself in there when I when I was letting goats out because they what they do is they eat their own food and then they stand here like this you want to show them what Indigo's doing she's chewing on the latch yeah everybody wanted to see you what what's over here Indigo what's this what happens when I do this are you just gonna stand there not gonna do what you usually do usually she has her head going like this and she's kicking at the door <laughs> like let me in and so I have to chase her off but you're not going to do it now are you because the people are watching and she's on her good behavior silly girl but yeah so now now they're in there pretty good and nobody can get in without mama's permission, right? Yes. Nobody can get in. Nope. That's not your room. Ha. Huh. Tub tubs. Not for right now. We don't know about you. I don't think she's pregnant. She's too skinny. She looks really big when she lays down, but she sort of just pudge. <laughs> yeah. You did the little cutie. Big girl. <laughs> yes, it's goat jail. <laughs> See, she can get up 
there too. She's a good she jumper. Doesn't, doesn't try and get out. Like, I can see you're trying to figure it out, Stormtrooper. Sienna says, I must be in here for a reason. I will stay here. I'll leave my days as a good girl. No escape for goats. Valkyrie likes her, her freedom from babies. She's a film star, huh? Yeah, pretty girl. Stormtrooper, there's not enough room for you to get past Sienna. That's all. 